Hello everyone, my name is Betsy. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my tips for maintaining your pencils nice and sharp like this. Although it's perfectly fine to have your pencils shaped differently, this is my personal preference just because it really helps me get a lot of details in my drawings and it helps me get into some of those tiny little crannies. So, to get started here, I'm just going to show you kind of what pencils tend to look like when you buy them. We've probably all seen this. They're either sharpened like this or they're not sharpened at all, of course. And this is this matters in shipping, of course, because you don't want the pencils to break so much. So they'd it's probably better that you receive them this way. And now here I have a general sharpener. This is a nice one for when you're just on the go and you really need to get your pencils sharpened. And this works absolutely fine. I've had this one for years now and it works great. And it makes this little point here. And so of course, if I'm going to the cafe or going out somewhere, that's fine. But personally, when I'm at home drawing, I prefer my pencils to be kind of at a very long point. So this is what I use at home. This is really just the first, I guess my first step is I use an artist pencil sharpener. So if you're online or you go to Amazon or any other kind of shopping website, look for an artist pencil sharpener and specify that it makes very long points. So this one, I will link it in the description so that you can go check it out. And you'll notice that when I put the pencil in here, it just holds it. And on the back, there's a dial that helps me dial in on how pointed or how blunt I want it. Both of these settings are actually pretty good, so I kind of toggle back and forth between those. And then all I do is I hold the sharpener from the top and crank it and the pencil just feeds in on its own. Now depending on the type you get, yours might be a little different. Mine doesn't really release the pencil. I have to crank it backwards to to let that pencil come back out. I could pull it and it takes a little bit of force, but you can see here it does a really good job of creating a nice point. But for me personally, I still think that it needs a little more help. So if you really want to get that extra, extra pointed, perfect little tip, something else that you can do is that you can use something that might come with your pencil sharpener. It definitely came with mine. So inside of the chamber here, you can see that there's this little pad. I'm going to pull it out. So this little pad right here, what it has is it's got some nice texture to it. So it's basically acting like a small piece of sandpaper. And what you're just going to do is you're going to take your pencil and you're going to rub it up against that little pad. And you'll notice that after you kind of rotate the pencil a little bit, you're going to get a nice point. And so here you see it, it actually pr looks pretty good. So having said that, you can actually just go right ahead and go and grab some sandpaper. A lot of us kind of have it around the house for doing house things. And this one is a fairly fine grit. Although I don't quite recall how fine it is. I've used different uh, different grits of sandpaper for this and they all pretty much work, even the coarser types. So you can see here, I, I actually prefer this a whole lot more just because I'm able to sort of bend the sandpaper around my finger and it helps me really kind of get to the, the spot where I want it to come to a really nice point. So this works perfectly fine as well. Usually when I'm done, I just take some tissue paper and I clean off the excess so that I don't end up getting that all over my hands or my paper. So something else that you might have is if you've gotten a set of pencils or blending stumps or anything like that, you can also use this here. It does have sandpaper on it. That's all that this is. And you can just do the exact same thing. You're going to rub your pencil up against it. Even if you haven't sharpened the pencil in a pencil sharpener after you've used the pencil, you can just go straight here and just use the sandpaper to bring it to a point. So that's what I'm doing here. It's not as pointed as some of the other pencils, but this still works great. So you can see right here, this is the result. And so something else that I'd like to show you here is that yes, of course, you can just go back to using a blade. Sometimes you'll get one of these with a set of pencils. I know that's where I got this one. I usually wouldn't have gone and bought it because I don't really trust these kind of blades too much. But what you can do, of course, is you could whittle the pencil. And you can just use the blade really gently to kind of scrape at the tip of the pencil. 
and very gently scrape away at that tip until you get the kind of tip that you want. This might be a little more difficult depending on how how good you are with your hands. You might end up breaking some of the tips, so I would recommend against this if you're not so certain about how well your hands work. I would probably just stick to a pencil sharpener and that would make things a whole lot easier for you. But definitely I love to use this. Actually I prefer using an X-Acto blade or if you're ever looking for them online those little blades are called the number 11 hobby blades. And so there you have it. Those are my personal preferences for getting my pencils nice and sharp. Often I just sharpen my pencils when I don't really feel like drawing for a little while and I just kind of get them ready like this so that they're all set and all ready to go when I'm ready to start drawing. And so there you see it, they're all all ready to go and so I'm pretty much set for the week. I don't really need to sharpen them anymore and they can just kind of hang out like that for a little while. So I hope this helps and I hope this has answered some of your questions. I know that a few of you did ask me questions on and off over the last few weeks about how to keep them sharp. So thank you so much for watching.